Hey guys, it's Zach here with Aldeg, and today I'm going to be giving a brief tutorial on writing a Python test bench. So Python is a high-level dynamic object-oriented programming language. What makes it so useful to us is that it does not require compilation, and it's much quicker to develop due to shorter code that's easy to read and requires little training. It has a simple, easy syntax and a wide range of applications. Currently there are two versions, 2.7 and 3.6, but more generally, Python 2 and 3. Python 2 is considered legacy, where Python 3 is considered present and future of the language. Now in order to simulate HDL code using Python, we need an environment that provides that support. CocoTB is a coroutine co-simulation test bench environment. It's a free and open source environment and available on Windows or Linux. This environment allows us to drive stimulus onto inputs and monitor outputs through a Python script or program. There are a few options for setting up a testing environment. It just depends on what you're more comfortable with or have available to you. In this video, we'll be using a Linux operating system, which uh, requires CocoTB, Rivera Pro, and Python 2.6, or better. If you'd like to use Windows, it is possible, but does require an additional environment to run the CocoTB environment. And then for testing your designs, it requires a makefile, which will go into a Python test bunch and your HDL source code. So let's go ahead and take a look at a Python test bench. So here we are in the Linux environment. And the first thing that we'd like to do is take a look at the design files um, or the files that are necessary to run your uh, Python test bench. So the first thing that we'd like to look at is the make file uh, that sets up your CocoTB environment. Um, and in this make file, what you'd like to indicate is the CocoTB uh, directory the uh, directory in which your HDL source code exists, ours are VHDL files, so we indicated that. Um, the top level module in those source files, uh, ours is CB4CE, which is found in the CB4CE.VHD file. Uh, you'd also want to indicate uh, module as your Python test bench, and our Python test bench is test underscore CB4CE. You can also indicate the simulation tool that you'll be using, uh, where you'll be using Riviera Pro, which you can indicate using the company name, Aldec. And then you also want to indicate the top level language in ours is VHDL. And then you also want to include uh, the makefile.inc and makefile.sim, which is found in the CocoTB directory. So now that we've seen our makefile, we can move on to taking a look at the Python test bench. And so we have opened the Python test bench here. And as you can see, it starts by importing the CocoTB library as well as functions from uh, other CocoTB libraries. So we've imported the clock function, uh, the timer function, and the rising edge function. And those will be used inside of our test bench. And if we move down, we can see that we have the CocoTB.test, which will indicate um, our test bench. And inside of that, we have a block, which is where the test bench will be run. First thing we do inside of our up counter block is uh, route signals from our um, counter. And we route our clock to a variable named clock and we route our clear signal to a variable named clear. After that, we go on to generate a clock signal using the clock and the fork function. Uh, the clock function, uh, you route a clock signal and a period and then it generates a clock signal and using the fork function, you can have it run simultaneously as the rest of your design. And sign of, after that, we go to initialize the counter and you set, uh, so I set the clear to one and for a timer of 500, uh, clears, uh, the, it initializes the counter, or clears it, and then after that, it sets clear to zero. And then we run 20 clock cycles of counting and we were able to print uh, the count as it, uh, after every clock. And then after that, we clear the counter one more time. And then if we run 20 more clock cycles and uh, print the count as well. And then simulation ends. So now that we've taken a look at what we expect from our uh, Python test bench, we might as well go and run the simulation. So uh, to run the simulation is pretty easy. You just type make inside of the uh, directory where your make file exists. And then it will initialize Riviera Pro in the terminal and then it'll run your simulation. And as you can see, um, we can see everything that we saw in our uh, test bench here. So it initializes our counter and then begins counting. And you can see that the counter up counts uh, with each clock cycle. Uh, and then after being cleared and starting counting for a second time, uh, it counts correctly again. 
and then you can also see there's no errors and then the uh, sim time so it was run in picoseconds so the total uh, execution time was 4.95 nanoseconds so now that we've seen um, the simulation inside of the terminal we can also uh, run simulation inside of the Riviera Pro GUI so if you'd like to do that um, you can type make and then you can also indicate that GUI is equal to 1 and that will open up it'll call Riviera Pro and open it up and initialize simulation and then once uh, in Riviera Pro uh, you can hit run all and it will run simulation uh, of your test bench and then you can verify that your Python test bench is working visually as well. The tool used in this video was Riviera Pro, which is provided by Aldec. Riviera Pro is a high performance simulation and debugging tool. It provides the simulation power needed to develop highly complex designs and debugging tools to ensure they're working correctly. Riviera Pro has debugging features such as showing design data flow, memory visualization, X-Trace, as well as full UVM support and toolbox. It also has mixed language support for seamless compilation and simulation of your designs. Riviera's assertion and coverage tools make designing easier and decreases debugging time. For questions about the software, contact Aldec. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.